Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Zoonomaly character concept series. So the characters we've created for today's video are the wolves. So we'll go into these characters' gameplay mechanics, location, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Also, as always, I'd just like to mention that what we say in this video is linked to the overall universe and lore of Zoonomaly. This is just a fun, fan-made character and we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, well, with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of the wolves. So, previously in our Zoonomaly character concept series, we've been looking into the second zoo that has been affected by the Blue Mortar. It seems that someone has activated another Bloom machine and warped all the animals into monstrous creatures. So, once again, the new recruit has been sent to investigate this disturbance. Just like last time, they need to shut down the Bloom Machine and stop the Bloom Order for good. But the underground facility is locked behind a large door that requires special codes. So the player has been searching around the zoo in order to find and scan these special codes. But each of these codes have been guarded by a disturbing Bloom creature. The Bloom animals that the player has encountered so far have been the Snake, the Rhino, and the Crocodile. Each of these strange looking creatures have offered up their own unique challenges that the player had to deal with. But in the end, they managed to escape their clutches and scan the special codes. But unfortunately for the player, there are still many codes that need to be scanned throughout the zoo. But there were some codes that weren't located inside the park as well. Some of these codes were scattered out in the dark forest that surrounds the zoo. And within this forest, an array of dangerous animals are lurking around. It seems like it wasn't just the animals in the zoo that were affected by the Bloom Order. The Bloom Machine's range reached out well into the forest. This being the case, some of the forest dwelling animals got corrupted and morphed into creepy Bloom creatures. And now they wait in the dark forest for any poor souls to enter their domain. And once they do, it will be all over. So now, let's introduce these creepy forest dwelling creatures. And the next Bloom animal we have is the Wolves. These strange looking animals usually hunt in packs. At any given time, there will be a minimum of three wolves lurking around. The wolves are quite deadly creatures. On average, an adult wolf will weigh about 20 to 60 kilos or 45 to 130 pounds. On all fours, the wolves measure to about 5 to 6 feet long and standing upright about 6 to 7 feet tall. As for aggression, the wolves are highly territorial. They display aggressive behaviour when protecting their pack or hunting. They are known to be quite intelligent and have excellent hunting skills. The wolves are also quite fast. They can run up to speeds of about 35 miles per hour. But what is most interesting of all is their disturbing appearance. The wolves have mouths filled with razor sharp teeth and black dripping saliva. Their bodies are covered in a matted grey fur with strange bare limbs sticking out. With these strange hairless limbs, it almost looks like another creature is wearing the wolf's skin. Anyone who enters the forest needs to be extremely careful. They would need to be aware of their surroundings and always watch their back. Soon enough, they will notice a number of glowing eyes in between the dark trees. And before they can even run away, the wolves would all strike at once. So, due to these deadly creatures, many of the investigators or intruders to the park stay well away from the forest. But the new recruit didn't have a choice. Some of the secret codes they needed to scan were inside the dark forest. So, they set out and try to find them as quick as they can. Hopefully, they can avoid these deadly wolves. But something tells them that wasn't going to be the case. So now, they step foot inside the dark forest. This place is eerily quiet. The new recruit can feel multiple eyes staring at them from the darkness of the trees. But regardless, they need to move ahead and locate the secret codes. For their first task to find one of the codes, they need to follow a large pipe on the ground that leads through the forest. If they follow it for long enough, it'll eventually lead them to the first code. Whilst they make their way forward, the player hears something truly terrible. That was the last thing they wanted to hear right now. As they look to the left, they see the glowing eyes from behind the trees. They look to the right, and sure enough, there's more eyes staring at them as well. The player gets their bloomer bang ready to fire at whatever comes next. They couldn't use their bloom lance. 
It would be far too slow of a weapon to keep up with these fast creatures. All of a sudden, the first wolf leaps out towards them. The player fires off a round and sends them back into the forest. That was a close one. Now, they only have four light bulbs left. For now, that bright blast from the Bloomerbang is keeping the wolves at bay. But they need to be careful not to run out of ammo, because out in the deep dark forest, there's definitely no light bulbs. As they continue to follow the pipe, they finally reach the first code. It was stuck to a signpost. Right before they scan it, another wolf leaps out and attacks. They quickly blast it away and then scan the code. Now they've only got three bulbs left, but there's only one more code to find in this area. When they scan the area, they notice something quite strange. The glowing beacon is moving, but how can that be? That's never happened before. As they get closer to investigate, they see what it is. It was a small glowing rabbit, but compared to all the other animals, it looked perfectly normal. As they scan it to get a better reading, it becomes clear that the rabbit is the next code. Just before they can get a full scan on the rabbit, another wolf leaps out at the player. With another bright flash, the wolf is sent back into the forest. But now, the rabbit is gone. So, in this last gameplay segment, the player needs to chase down the rabbit in order to scan it. But in doing so, they'll also need to fend off the wolves as well. So, after a while of chasing the rabbit and blasting away the wolves, they finally corner the rabbit. They get a final scan on it and it transforms into the secret code. Finally, they have what they need and now they can leave this deadly forest. So the player makes a run for it, narrowly dodging attacks from the wolves here and there. But finally, they make it out and re-enter the park. Now they just need to continue on their task of finding all the codes. But the further they explore this zoo, the more dangerous creatures they'll meet. And as to who they'll meet next isn't clear, and until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that the wolves would be a great addition to our Zoonomaly cast of characters. I think that multiple enemies would offer up quite the challenge for our player. The stress of dealing with the multiple wolves would definitely keep them on their toes. They would need to be careful of where they are in the forest and also keep an eye on their ammo as well. And if they aren't careful, the wolves glowing eyes would be the last thing they see. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the wolves and what you'd like to see going forward. As always, I would like to thank you all for liking and watching the video and also commenting as well. And also a very big thank you to our GameJube members who help support the channel. If you would like to be a GameJube member, then do be sure to click the join button down below or the link in our bio. But as always, you don't need to be a paying member to enjoy our content, it's just if you'd like to help us that extra little bit. But alrighty everyone, until our next Zoonomaly character concept video, I'll catch you later, bye.